are you? Thank you for speaking for the group up here. I come from an Italian house, and it's hard to eat right. Are there Italians here in Montreal? Yeah, wow, quite a few. And you know what, there's more than that here. But they're just, they're, they're on the witness protection program now, that's all. They're, all, they're in the back, they're up in the balcony. Yeah. I come from the very Italian house, the plastic furniture you couldn't sit on house. Did anybody have the museum house? Oh, towels you could never touch. China that no one's ever going to use. Everything in this house is for a special occasion that hasn't happened yet. My mother's waiting for the Pope to show up for dinner one night with Sinatra. Or Chachi, any prominent Italian. And when you eat over their house, there's a technique when you eat over the Italian mother, mother's house, or the Jewish mother, it's the same actually, when it comes to food. I tell my friends, I brief them, I go, look, when you're done with the meal, my mother's gonna try to give you more, okay? Now listen carefully. If you want a tiny bit more, tell her no. Just look her right in the eyes. No, I'm full. Boof, a little bit more, right there. Yeah, and if you want a lot more, you, okay, just a tiny bit more. Boom, another meal, just like that. You stay one step ahead of her. That's all, and if you don't want any more, you have to shoot her. Yeah. yeah, there's no other way. None for me. No, you take a little. No, I don't think so, Miss Romano, all right? Back off. Back off, lady. Put it back in the bowl. Put it back. Now hand the spoon to Ray. Nice and easy. She's got a cannoli in her apron. Shoot her. And land one. Don't graze her. That'll piss her off. Yeah, she'll take a bullet and keep coming. Oh, oh I warmed it up. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Yeah, she won't stop. She'll flip it to your aunt. There's always a fat aunt backing her up somewhere. Go get them. Feed them without me. I went to an Italian wedding last week. These are the most annoying things in the world. I don't like any wedding because I don't dance. And if you don't dance, you can't even step on the dance floor without getting sucked into something. Uh, that, that train always gets me, that annoying people train. You, you don't even realize it. You're like, I'm going to the men's room, I'll be right back. I'm just going to the men's room. Oh! Da, 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 da. Yeah, you're on a train. That's how that little move started. That's all people that were on their way to the men's room. Huh? Oh, I'm never gonna make it. Oh, I'm never, something better happen soon. Yeah. And you can't get off it. You can't just disengage, because then you're the conductor for whoever's attached to you right now. I'm going to the men's room. Get off, get off me. Last stop, last stop right here. Oh, stay on, I don't care, stay on. They'll stay on, they'll follow you right in. Hey, where's he going? Hey, what's he doing? Oh, he stopped, he stopped. Oh, shake, everybody, shake. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, the Italians. My wife is very Italian. We have a little baby now, too. It's very exciting now. I have a year and a half old daughter. Thank you, you're a warm bunch of people. Uh, <laughs> it's all right. I'm not gonna bore you. It's the greatest thing in the world. You know what I can't do now? I can't write any new jokes because all I do all day is try to make my daughter laugh. All my comedy's for her. It's frightening. I'm losing my perspective on adult humor, really. I've written one new joke since I became a father. Here, is this funny? What do you think of this? Hi. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi in the balcony. All right, thank God. Yeah. I'm glad you laughed, because otherwise I would have had to come in and rub my nose in your bellies. Yeah. <laughs> now my daughter's running around the house, too. That's a whole other thing. You know, you learn to adapt for the first year when they're just crawling. Then when they start walking, oh, it's a whole other life. I can't have a normal phone conversation anymore. Have you ever talked to a parent on the phone? All my business calls are screwed up. Yeah, listen, the 15th, that sounds fine for me. Sure, I just need to know, uh, where do you think you're going with that cookie? 
No, not you. No, I'll be there. I'll be there, but you know, remember that you're gonna fall. You're gonna fall! No, no, I'd love to come. You know, uh, every time I'm there, I smell cocky. I smell cocky when I'm there. <laughs> we bought a phone. We bought a car phone. My wife wants a car phone for no apparent reason. Are they popular in Montreal, car phones? Yeah? They're so annoying. You know, sooner or later, they're gonna make a phone into a little chip, a little microchip. Everyone's just gonna have it surgically implanted in their ear. Yeah, we're all gonna have phones, wherever you go. I got a call coming, I'll be right, one sec, I got a call. Oh, hi, Joe, how are you, what's up? Yeah. Oh, my other line, gotta put you on hold. Hey, Billy, how are you, Bill? Yeah, I'm talking to Joe right now. I'll put you on conference, gotta talk to each other. Yeah, how are you guys? What's happening? Oh, hold on, guys, I'm getting the facts. One second. Thanks. Thank you very much. The buffet says $5.99, all you can eat. She gets one plate. I'm ready to go home, I'm full. I'ma spend the night, I'm following directions. All you can eat, you eat until it's gone. That's what you're supposed to do. All you can eat. <laughs> I can't fall asleep with any clothes on. I have to be completely naked. Uh, uh, if I even have a single sock on, it feels like I'm being strangled by a clothy little assassin.